Hello everyone, welcome to Spectrum Classes. This is our another lab activity video and in this video we are going to perform another experiment. The aim of the experiment is to determine the viscosity of a lubricating oil by using redwood viscometer. So here you can see the instrument of redwood viscometer and I will show you how to perform this experiment in the laboratory. So let's start. This is redwood viscometer number two so what is the difference between these two here you can see the nozzle on the bottom so in the redwood viscometer number one it is a bit smaller than the redwood viscometer number two here is the road to heat up the water and this is the cylindrical vessel with nozzle at the bottom and this is the apparatus which used to fill at the bottom so that our lubricant is not flow here is the lid this stirrer which is mechanical uh, we use this for uniform heating of the water and here we are just adjusting this In the outer vessel, we are just putting the water which is heat up and here is the lubricating oil which is filled into this cylindrical vessel. Now cover it with lid and here is the temperature. After completing the experiment, you need to drain out the water which you have filled in the outer vessel and so that your instrument have a longer life now i will show you the another instrument on which we are performing the experiment so here these two are the redwood viscometer number one and these two are the redwood viscometer and same is the difference in their bottom of the vessel here you can see the same difference now this instrument is already heaten up up to 51.6 degree you can see the temperature in that thermometer also so the temperature you set in the regulator is the temperature of your water so this water is used to heat up the lubricating oil so uniform heating is required actually so in this cylindrical vessel which has a nozzle at the bottom we fill the lubricating oil to this 50 ml since lid is covered and the nozzle is also covered so it is not flowing until we are not disturbing the nozzle of that now we are uh, measure the temperature of the lubricating oil that is important for us so this outer water uh, is used to heat up this lubricating oil here you can see here is the stirrer which is there in a mechanical stirrer in the previous instrument so here is mechanical stirrer and here is the stirrer so i speed so you can see here so this stirrer is used for uniform heating so that all the water nearby this road will disperse and will give uniform heated water. Here you can see the temperature once it is maintained. So 50.2. So here we will start or uncover the nozzle and uh, this lub lubricating oil starts flowing. So let it flow and we will measure the temperature in what time the whole lubricating oil which we have poured in the cylindrical vessel will drain out so that time will be the redwood viscosity of the lubricating oil 
so that redwood viscosity is used to measure the viscosity of the lubricating oil and that i have already discussed in another video for calculating the lubricating viscosity so here are some viva questions which are related to this experiment i thought these are important questions so you must know about these questions so let's start with the first question here is define viscosity and viscosity index these two are the properties of the fluids and you must understand the difference and their definitions so here viscosity is the property of a liquid in which a layer of liquid offers resistance to the flow of another layer whereas viscosity index this is vi this is not numeral six okay so please remember this so viscosity index is an arbitrary scale used to determine the variation of kinematic viscosity of a fluid with temperature here the new term comes with kinematic viscosity so first we must understand different type of viscosity so here first we will discuss about the dynamic viscosity so what is dynamic viscosity when viscosity is measured directly by measuring the force it is known as absolute or dynamic viscosity and measured in centiposes whereas the kinematic viscosity is dynamic viscosity divided by the density of the lubricating oil or the sample which you are using and it is determined in centistocks so that is the basic difference between these two and what we have measured that is redwood viscosity okay the next question is what is the difference between redwood viscometer number one and number two so i thought you understand that is the mainly they differ in their orifice size the size or the nozzle at the bottom of the cylindrical vessels of the redwood viscometer number one and two so here viscometer number one is used for the less viscous lubricating oils while number two is used for the highly viscous lubricating oils that is why number one is having small orifice size and the number two is having a bigger size okay and another thing which you can think of the oils which are having time to flow or which needs time to flow 30 to 2000 seconds redwood viscometer number one is used for them and redwood viscometer number two is used for the liquids which requires time more than 2000 seconds so that is the basic difference the next question is define coefficient of viscosity and mention its units though this question is not really asked in the viva but you must understand this term also so coefficient of viscosity is it, it is represented by eta and this is equal to f f is the force tangential force required to maintain a unit velocity gradient between two parallel layers of liquid of unit area so this is this unit is used for one one value okay of that particular unit what is velocity gradient which i have mentioned over here so velocity gradient is measured as the difference in the stream of velocity between the adjacent layer of the fluid this a is the area d is the distance between the two layers and v is the velocity okay and it's if we are putting the units for each of the term then we will get units in terms of si as well as in cgs so for both the units we need to put their si as well as cgs units so in si it is having unit newton seconds per meter square or this is pascal seconds in cgs it is dyne second per centimeter square or it is known as poise hence the coefficient of viscosity can be defined as the force per unit area required to maintain viscosity difference one unit in the fluid layers which are at one unit distance apart so this is how one can understand the coefficient of viscosity so if we are directly measure the force then we are measuring the dynamic viscosity and if we divide that dynamic viscosity by the density of the fluid 
then that will be termed as kinematic viscosity and what we have measured over here that is redwood viscosity i hope you understand the concept and uh, you enjoyed this lab activity video if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up thank you all